Let's talk about spaces. Yes. You're working in a huge space now. When we did Ashes, we were in a room above a garage. Mm. Does that matter? There you are in Shaw, there you are in the Festival Stage mm. in Stratford. How do you adjust to the space as it expands or contracts around you? Well, I think one of the things the director was saying to me when he was saying, give, give yourself a chance to rehearse, was you don't need to think about the space initially. You can address, well, or, or, or every day, the person you're talking to, what's the intention, how do you make your speech. Speech is only active thought, that's all it is. You're making a thought active and you're trying to affect the actions of another person or some, something to that effect. Um, <clears throat> so, but when you do take in the space, um, it, it does affect how you energize and communicate that thought. And that's where craft comes in. So um, in Harry Potter, where we're masked, miked, it's a real temptation to go, well, if I just talk to you like this, the mic will pick me up. Um, it's dangerous to do that. Why? Because you're in a theater. And the sound guy said to us, I want you to do what you do as an actor and we will adjust. You're putting a huge amount of trust in that sound technician. I don't like putting my faith in other people that way because I'm so used to producing my voice on my own. But you have to in a theater like the Ed Mervish. But they're telling me, project as if you're in a theater and I will make you, well I'm sure with me it's about how do they make her less loud? But, but to not energize it means you're not energizing your thought. You're not producing your thought from deep in your body. And the whole joy of theater is that you communicate from your toes to your head and not just from your chest up. So when we do warm-ups and we do a warm-up for every show, the whole point is producing your breath from deeply enough in your being. Who leads the warm-ups? Um, well, sometimes it's Jane Goodrum, sometimes it's Nancy Benjamin, and sometimes it's one of our actors, Raylene Harwood Great. or um, Katie Ryerson. And, and um, yeah, so there are two move. yeah, so we have a, a, we have a, um, yeah, we, all that is taken care of. There's a resident director and there's a resident movement and director. Do you find the younger actors are performing in the space or performing for the mic? Um, well, I think, uh, I think learning how to support your voice is a lifelong thing. So I would say that for some, the journey continues. Um,